Do you want to have a fast Lambo, a fancy Rolex and a huge Playboy mansion in Austria? The Bilzerian lifestyle. Money, Bitcoins, love and other drugs. Well, then I'm out of here. I can't help you. Quit music and get a job. But if you want to have a nice winky winky cat and produce great music in your recording studio, you need a great computer, a great small computer. Let's check out the new Apple Mac Mini M1. My name is Elias Walch and my life's all about audio and computers, I guess. Okay, you can't change anything about that system, so it's important that you order the configuration that you need. I got uh, basically the base model, but upgraded the 8 to 16 gigabytes of RAM. I bought it via notebooksbilliger.de, it was a lot cheaper. The price was 840 euros without tax. Storage with 256 gigabytes is okay for me. I use external SSDs anyway. Compared to those two beer bottles, one, one Meccaz and one Corona, oh, that's the C word. Uh, the Mac Mini is about the same weight. I guess it's a little bit lighter. If you're interested, there is a, an ancient studio saying under professionals here in Europe, if you buy a new studio Mac, uh, drink a beer or it will be very whack. 10 gig Ethernet would be nice maybe in the next uh, machine update um, Apple, huh? Um, let's go for it. The machine is really transportable and light. Clearly not a Terminator, but great for traveling and songwriting camps. If it's okay for you that you have to take an external display with you. For me, it's okay. Otherwise, get a MacBook. The ports are a joke. Uh, two Thunderbolt, two USB 3 power network and HDMI. But you will have to use dongles anyway. I put some links to hubs and dongles in the description. The sound of the computer is quite nice. A bit percussive, but overall 9 out of 10 points. Internal speakers, uh, 1 out of 10. They exist, yeah, but they exist like acne or something. Well, let's plug it in and give it a try. So, here we are, my desktop. I use Universal Audio Apollo interfaces. According to the UA website, they aren't supported right now, but after a small workaround and some restarts, my Apollo 8P and the Apollo Twin work like a charm. The console GUI is a bit flaky, but overall, yeah, nice shice. UA plugins run fine, but some of them had validation issues in Logic, not in Pro Tools. Just revalidate until they are validated. It will work, trust me, I'm Austrian. Most important in the studio workflow is Screen Snake. You can play it when bands track or the singers are whack. Yep, works like a charm. A uh, little pro tip from my side. You can change the color of the snake by pressing the space bar. Just give me a second. Logic is supported since day one, runs natively, everything smooth and responsive as fuck. Overall, I have to say that the new architecture is so much more responsive, programs open up way faster and there is no lag. Let's try out some plugins that I use most, uh, Spectrosonics, Keyscape, play something really difficult. Addictive Drums 2 from XLN Audio. Native Instruments, Contact. And you see everything is really fast and responsive. No lags. Oh, I love this Mac Mini M1. Great. Uh, ReFX Nexus. Okay, so you will need this plugin to create music that is a little bit more sophisticated if you want next level jazz shit. Just go to the upper sheet 2 Erweiterung, open up the Dance Schlager 1 patch and there you go. This is classic art house. Perfect. 
perfect. Runs not natively, but uh, under the Rosetta emulation, and this is great. Ooh, ah, what do we have? Sublab. Um. Works like a charm, really greasy. Plugin-wise, everything that I use works. All the FabFilter uh, plugins are optimized. The Valhalla stuff is optimized. Universal audio plugins work just quite fine. We have the SSL plugins. Kickstart from Nicky Romero. Sooth, Sooth from Oak Sound works super duper nice. Melodyne works. The ah, the sausage fat no, from Dada Life. Everything, everything is fine. Yeah, let's open my Echo Boy. Yeah, works. Pro Tools runs under the Rosetta emulation. Absolute wonder for me. To be honest, there are some minor bugs, but it works great. I have a really audio-centric workflow in Pro Tools, but as far as I can say, performance is comparable with my old MacBook and almost all plugins run. Currently, I, I mix a session for the singer Paula Carolina. Here we have the rough tracks of Leander Wiedmose playing some drums. Really nice. Everything is very responsive and you can work perfectly. I have the mastering compressor from Brainworks on the master. Let's open up a logic session. Okay, so I made this song with a friend of mine through a Zoom songwriting session two weeks ago. There are a lot of plugins on and we wrote it together via Zoom and then via the Lander Sessions plugin. And on my old MacBook, this is a huge problem because the fan gets so loud. It's like, and here you can... No, you, you can't hear the Mac, it's dead silent. I will mute it and play the session. Everything plays really nicely. You see one core is now a, a bit at work, but this is absolutely okay because we have the townhouse compressor, we have the, some UAD stuff, we have the brain works more, we have a pro L limiter from FabFilter, we have a lot of plugins, FabFilter on every channel. We have the Valhalla stuff. We have Sound Toys uh, stuff on. We have contact instances with guitars. We have Keyscape. We have Trillion playing bass. We have stuff of the Roland Cloud playing. This is really uh, stable and really nice. I'm happy. So, yeah, filthy audio animals. If you need a new computer right now, I can recommend the M1. Yeah, it's absolutely dead silent. Performance is great. And every day, new plugin manufacturers update the software and you get native support. The price and the value of the system is absolutely outstanding in the class. If you can wait, wait for the upcoming M1X architecture. It will be way faster. And until then, almost all plugins will be updated. If you have to decide, between a McDonald's Big Mac and the Mac Mini, save up for the Mac Mini, better value for the price, and you can change the world with it. Way less carbs too, clear winner. <laughs> so have a nice day, stay safe. I will get a Big Mac now.